Hey, this is Lady C. Welcome to Creative Studio 101. Now, in the upcoming tutorial, I'm going to be telling you all about working with filters in Yahoo. Because I know you're probably like 99% of everyone who has an email account that's just getting totally tired of being inundated with emails that you don't want to deal with. Now, there are some emails that I want to deal with those are the stores that send me coupons. Well, because I don't use the coupons all the time, I don't want to unsubscribe to their email. So what I do is I just simply create a folder and I divert those emails to that folder using a filter. And what that does is it allows me to do a mass delete at any time for a specific email that I receive. So I don't have to go through and cherry pick all through my emails to find the ones I want to get rid of. I just simply filter them all to the same folder. When the sales are no longer going on for those particular emails that I receive, I can now go to that folder and mass delete the email. That's what I do. So I'm going to share with you how to create that filter using Yahoo. So let's hop to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about what's happening in my inbox here. Uh, you're gonna notice that there are multiple emails from about three main companies and then a few other uh, companies that send emails as well. Now you have to make up your mind how granular you wanna get with your folders. Like, do you wanna create a folder for each individual company or do you want to create one that just has a general shopping folder where you'll then divert all emails that pertain to shopping in that one main folder. These are just different things you must decide. But for me, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to just do each individual company. That way I can create multiple folders so you can just see how it works. So prior to setting up my filters, I need to create these folders. We need to navigate to the bottom left side of your screen and choose new folder and type the name of the folder. Be sure to tap that enter key, which is the white arrow inside of the blue box after you type each folder name. And then you just continue clicking on new folder until you have all of the folders that you wanna work with. And you'll start to see them show up on the left hand side under the word new folder as you continue creating the folders. So the next thing we got to do is we got to locate and open one of the incoming emails that we want to filter. And the reason why we're doing that is so that we can copy the exact incoming address. Navigate to that email, open it up, and then Find the email address from that person and highlight the text. So you're gonna drag to select the text if you're using a mouse on a computer. And then you can just right click on the text and choose copy. So now we've got the address loaded into the clipboard. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go to settings. So in the top right corner of the screen, choose settings. When the pop-up menu appears, scan your eye to the bottom of the menu and choose more settings. Next, choose filters. And this is located on the left side of the window. So you gotta scan your eye all the way to the left now. And now you're gonna choose add new filters. In the box to the right, provide a name for the filter. And in this case, we're gonna choose Sally Beauty. Now we're gonna set the rules for the filter. Notice how you can choose from, to, subject, and body. And in this tutorial, we will set our rule using the incoming email address, which is the one we copied to the clipboard earlier. So all you gotta do is hit the drop down arrow 
in the from section, choose contains, and then we're going to paste the email in the space labeled type a filter value. Now you can right click in that space and choose paste. Next, you're going to select the folder these emails will be moved to when they arrive in your inbox. All you have to do is choose Sally Beauty from the pick list. Once you're done, you can now choose save. Now the next time you receive an email from Sally Beauty from that specific email address, Yahoo will automatically divert it to the folder that you specified. Okay, so now this filter that we just created only applies to future incoming emails. So now the question is, what do I do with the emails that are already in my box? Well, you're gonna need to move them. And that's what we're gonna do right now. It's really quick and simple. All you gotta do is search for the emails that are existing in your inbox and just highlight the email address of that particular company or individual. And then you can just right click on the text and choose copy and paste it into the search box at the top. Yahoo will bring back a list of all the emails that meet the criteria. Then all you have to do is click the top checkbox to select all of the emails associated with the search. Once you select those emails and the checkbox is next to it, you can now move to the next step, which is clicking on the move button located at the top of the screen. So you'll choose move. And then when the menu drops down, go ahead and choose Sally Beauty. And then all of the emails will be moved over to the Sally Beauty folder. And so this is a really nice way to clean up your emails. So I hope you enjoyed these tips and I'll see you on the next video.